Hey guys, welcome back to Crazy Toys. Crystal here, and today I went to a church yard sale earlier this morning, and I stacked and I racked up. It was so much fun. I found so much cool stuff for such good prices, and yeah, not a really whole lot of like dolls and stuff, but all kinds of awesome stuff. Before we get started, if you have not clicked that subscribe button, be sure to click that subscribe button now and click that little bell so you'll be alerted by a future video. That I also like. Alright, so this is the Millennium Fal Star Wars Millennium Falcon. Um, this is from the... Is this one from... I can't remember what movie this one's from, but... It's got this guy. This has got this guy in it. That helps you. Can't remember what it's called. Force something. I don't know. But that piece kept falling off, and I accidentally broke a piece off of it. Unfortunately, but it still works. It still does fine. And then you can open up this piece here, and somebody can go in there. It's really cool. See, there's like your or whatever. And this was. Seven dollars, but it, and then you can open this also. This is huge, so it's taking a lot of room. So we got like here, we got Chewy. I think this is one of the Star Wars Rebels guys right here. Um, not 100, but I think so. And, I, and Chewbacca and the guy that I just showed you earlier go to this set. Um, we're missing. The only one we're missing is BB-8. They come with a BB-8. This set did. Alright, so there is... Whoa. So we'll put that back on and move this out of the way and continue on. I found a 6 inch Funko Pop. This this one was priced at $5. Um, this is the Cyber Demon from Dune. Number 91. And as you can see... There are only two to choose from and to get in this set. This one is, and that was the Space Marine, and we got the Cyber, the six-inch Cyber Demon. Really love to pick up um, six-inch pops when I see them because it's pretty cool. Because I don't have a lot of six-inch pops. Um, and then for two fifty, I picked up this Wonder Woman Lego Dimensions Fun Pack. Um, I think it's brand new. And I love Wonder Woman, so I had totally, totally, totally had to have her invisible jet. Yeah, I don't play Lego Dimen Dimensions, but I like the figures. So that's great. At first I was like 250 and then I was like, oh, it's Wonder Woman, I gotta take it. And then I looked it up and it was 250 was a good price <laughs> when I looked it up online, so I was happy. Well, I didn't look it up in online in, this, in the place because I just feel like that's insulting to sit there and look up something online and be like, yeah, your, your price is too high. Let me have to look this up. Or can I actually make money on this? But it's a church yard sale, so it was, it was a lot of people there. So I did what I could. All right, and then we have this really cool um, Toys R Us exclusive Yahtzee. It's a, it was a dollar. Look how cute this is. It's pink and fuzzy and it's got like a cell phone and a very old cell phone, a flip phone. Um, yeah, this is some two, 2009. We had flip phones in 2009. Okay. Okay, I remember that. Alright, and then we, then these were 10 cent. We've got a strawberry shortcake, fun and friends. And I think this I think this is some from the 80s. Not sure. I don't have a date on that, but it says Psylite. But it was 10 cents. So we got. It says Macmillan. What? It, American Greeting Corp. So yeah. And then. It's, that's not what that says. It says MCMLXXX American Greeting. And then this little plate for also 10 cent. This one is a little chipped and it's a little discolored. But it goes really cute with this little bowl, which I th and I think this bowl and this are definitely these are definitely two different brands. This plate is D-E-K-A Deca. 
but for 10 cent I was walking down the hall and they had them on like a little high chair and for 10 cents I was like okay and then for a dollar I got this light box I have one but mine's like way bigger and I thought this one would be kind of cute like I could put thrift haul back here so everybody will know what it is then I got this Crocodile Hunter Outback Chase Game for 50 cent. I love Steve Irwin. Um, I remember watching his show all the time. He was so fun and just so interesting to watch. So, yeah. Oh, and they come out with a Crocodile Hunter Funko Pop. Guess who's getting one? Yes, I ordered one. Doubt I try not to order so much, but with that and then we it's a very small little board game but look at that crocodile crocodile don't call it alligator and then here's all the little pieces it looks like everything's so not everything's so nice in here so, well, except for the cards they're not in like a they're cute it's cute it's a cute game I don't exactly know how we're gonna how you there you play this or anything But I thought maybe my nephew might would enjoy this game. We could play that together. So yeah, that's a really cool little brings back memories of the crocodile hunter. But what's cool is um his son is doing is walking in his footsteps it appears he's doing a lot of things that he did so it's pretty cool and then this was a quarter crash bandicoot apparently somebody bought this from goodwill and decided they didn't want it so they sent it to that oh that church yeah they were raising money for some kind of thing they do something to do with helping people get out of debt or something something like that yeah all right so and all the money goes to that Yeah, all the money goes to church. Yes, but um, I will. Uh, I don't know. I did open one of these from um, Goodwill, and it was broken. So hopefully we're gonna hold out on this one not being broken. Um, I'd like to have Crash Bandicoot. He's cool. We'll, we'll take anybody, obviously. I love Kid Robot. So anything Kid Robot is awesome. Oh, and we have we got Crash. Here's some of the new thing. And we did get cra oh, Crash Bandicoot. Three and twenty-four. Oh, all there. The, the chances of getting these are all the same. So, yeah. So there he is, Crash Bandicoot. He's so cute. He's going on the shelf that needs organizing, <laughs> but he's going there anyway. All right, and then. I'm going to be right back. Hey, and then I bought this 16-bit uh, Sega Genesis. Um, I used to play Sega a lot growing up, and it came with two controllers. Um, and the they hook it to TV and the power box. And we also got four games. We also got these four games. We got Echo the Dolphin. We got Madden NFL 94. Sonic and the original very fun Sonic the Hedgehog and we got World Series Baseball also this came with the instruction manual which was really cool but it wasn't in like the original box but yeah but this thing looks like brand new it was $15 for the games and everything but look how clean that is I have never seen this year of us I don't think I've ever seen a system from this year this clean. It's awesome. It just looks like it was grandma and grandpa bought it or something and the kids played it when they came over or something. That's what it looks like. Beautiful shape. So, yeah. I haven't decided if I'm keeping that or not. <laughs> or passing it on. We'll see. But one, that's one mission. That's one mission of mine when I go to yard sales. I'm like, find one thing that can pay for everything. So that's what I aim to do, and that's what I've done today. Um, 
So we have these Exacto House of Miniatures. This is what they call new old stock. So we got some, we got like five of those. At first I was like, oh yeah, I'll build these. And then I um, looked inside and I was like, um, I won't build these. And, but then a lady came up and said, you could fill up a whole bag for two dollars, for a dollar. But I paid two dollars because I got a little bit bigger bag. So I paid two dollars, but I was so happy. I was so happy to find these. I thought they were great. I thought two dollars was great. Um, so what these are is they're just like dollhouse miniatures. Um, for some reason, these have been open. Some of these have been open, but it doesn't look like they were used. So I'm saying it's like. Oh, I was like, whoa, that's a hard cushion. <laughs> the wood was behind it. So yeah, this is a little chair, obviously, and looks to be all there. So we got a, it says there's supposed to be two chairs. A set of two. Yeah, I see it. There's a set of two chairs in there. That little chair right there. And then this one was never opened. It's a Chippendale three drawer dresser. We have a closed cabinet top. We have a Chippendale chest and a Connecticut tavern table. Um, so yeah, these these were priced really good. I I'm definitely not going to keep those because I don't have the patience to put those together. And we got, I got a bunch of DS games. All these were complete. They all, they look like brand new. They all had their, um, art, they all had their manuals and everything. And of course they're not, a lot of these aren't worth a lot, but when she told me $5, I had, a, I had them in a bag and she said $5 for the whole bag. I was like, I guess we're gonna take all of them then. So we got, um, so literally I paid less than, I paid less than 50 cent each for these. I got eight of these for five dollars. So here we go, we have the little mermaid DS game. We got Hannah Montana. We got Style Lab, Lab Jewelry Design. Julie finds a American Girl, Julie Finds a Way. Puzzler Collection. New Super Mario Brothers. Imagine Fashion Designer New York. And Pets Dog Packs. Yeah, the, the one that sticks out mainly for me is this Super Mario Brothers. And I also like this American Girl one. Says everything we got in our church yard sale haul. Comment below what your favorite thing was that I found. Um, I was really excited about this and that Sega. It was really, that was really cool. That was my favorite find of the day. Oh, also Steve Irwin. Um, so yeah, you comment below what your favorite find was. What my favorite find was to you i want to know and um thanks for joining us here at crazy toys um if you want to see more possibly see more yard sales or see yard sales i've been to before you can click that up there in the corner and i'll link a whole playlist of yard sales just like this for you to see because i always find some great great deals and fun stuff so yeah if you want to see that be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that little bell guys because i'm always finding new stuff because that's what I love to do. <laughs> okay, hope to see you later. Bye, guys.